You know, I first met uh, Randy Freeze uh, on a really horrible day <laughs> in um, not only Tucson, but this state's and uh, this country's uh, history. A horrible day for the country, but for a lot of us personally. Um, some more than others. Um, you know, I saw Roxanne in Dallas as I came in here today, and I, we think of them often, and uh, what that day, you know, meant to them, and the five other people that were killed that day, uh, along with the 12 that were injured, uh, including Gabby, actually 13. Um, and that's the day that I met Dr. Randy Fries. Um within minutes of walking into Tucson Medical Center. Uh, after Gabby UFC. 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 And you know that that day and those first days and that first week were um, you know something I could have never imagined for for me personally, for Gabby, for all of us. I think it was just such a uh, whirlwind of um, a crazy experience. But about a week later, as I spent time sitting up in Gabby's room or walking the hallways of the ICU, that was my first real opportunity to get to know Randy. Where in the middle of the night, um, when he just might happen to be there, you know, we started talking about uh, not only Gabby and what happened on January 8th, but also about what Gabby represented and why she was there at a safe way, talking to her constituents, and what it means to be an elected official and what that job is about. And it was at that point pretty early on, I mean, I'd say within uh, a week after January 8th, that I started to realize that Gabby and Randy had a lot in common. You know, they were uh, two individuals who uh, cared about this community, uh, cared about public service, uh, saw themselves as problem solvers, and folks that were not incredibly political, despite Gabby being a state rep and a state senator and then a member of the United States Congress, I and many other you out here probably didn't think of her as a very partisan or political person. And I saw that in Randy, who three years ago started saying things to me that indicated that this is the kind of person that we would want to serve us uh, whether at the state or even national level. So we started talking about that, just, you know, casually, over time. And as I learned more about Randy, I learned um, that he's really got a great background uh, for public service. Uh, like me, Randy served in the Navy. And I was a Navy pilot. He was a, a Navy physician, a trauma surgeon. Um, a job that requires a lot more education and intelligence than just flying an airplane. <laughs> so, along with his uh, ability to communicate and being somebody who's a problem solver, he understands our healthcare system very well. Yeah. And that's important in Phoenix. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, he's also have a uh, you know, as a, uh, as a doctor at UMC, he comes with somebody who under, understands education. And, you know, this is an area, Tucson, that has a large military presence. Um, not specifically in LD9, uh, but nearby. And that is an experience that, to be honest, I imagine not many members in the state legislature have, having served in the military. So. Um, his commitment to public service was very clear to me uh, three years ago. And over the last three years, we've, we've discussed it. And 
He ultimately decided that the best place for him to start would be to be elected as a member, uh, a state representative in LD9, which is an interesting district currently um, represented by a Republican and a Democrat. And as all of you guys know, Randy's running as a Democrat in that district. Yay. Uh, Gabby and I have been supporters and friends uh, with Victoria Steele as well. And, and I think that district can be won by two Democrats. And hopefully, but more importantly, uh, than just being elected by um, a Democrat is somebody who is uh, not so partisan, a problem solver, willing to uh, work um, across party lines uh, to get things done for this great state and this country. So Gabby and I are very proud to support him. Uh, we want him to win, we want him to serve in the legislature, but it is no easy task. Make no mistake, getting elected to any public office is not an easy thing to do. Um, so I'm excited to see the support here today, uh, but it's going to take a lot of hard work, not just by Randy Freeze. It's going to take a lot of hard work from all of you to get him elected. So I hope you're committed to doing this. Gabby and I are. We are excited about having, having him represent LD9, so please uh, help me welcoming uh, Randy Freeze.